What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at this Audi R8 GT RWD rear wheel drive. This is a limited car to only 333 in the world and we're going to be able to look at the interior, drive it on track and actually drift it. So let's get started. Let's kick things off with a tour of the exterior. So yeah, a lot of new parts, aerodynamic parts, all finished in carbon fiber around here. This car actually comes mainly in two colors. So you have this red, which is really nice. And then you have a very nice kind of matte, light silver whitish, which is the original, same original color as the first R8 GT, which came about uh, many years ago. So it's kind of in honor of that car that this has been produced. It looks awesome. I think in this red, it's particularly cool looking. Um, and the carbon, obviously the gloss carbon really complements uh, the whole look of the car. So you've got these new little winglets right here, a new front splitter, which I don't think you really want to hit that on a, on a little bump. That looks like it sticks out a fair amount, but it looks really cool. Gloss finish on um, the front here, the badge as well. Now you do get uh, these wheels, the black gloss wheels, um, they look awesome and they're inspired by the wheels that were that are on the LMS race car. I really like this um, Audi Sport little red logo here because when the car is driving and that's spinning around, I don't know, it just, it just looks cool. You've got carbon ceramic brakes with the red calipers. Other carbon details you've got all around the car, so you've got the carbon wing mirrors, carbon side skirts, which you can see have been a little bit beefed up right there. Um, you can get the carbon on uh, these little details here, the intake here and around your um, fuel cap. You can have that as an option in carbon. The whole rear is fully carboned out. So you've got these nice little winglets, um, which look very cool on the rear and obviously a big diffuser and these massive, look at the size of that, exhaust outlets finished in black. And then this nice swan neck, I believe it's called, front mounted carbon rear wing. It looks really good. Um, these, uh, you could get, I think, some of these things as performance parts already on the R8, but um, to see them all as a package for this limited edition uh, R8 GT is awesome. Now, you do get some other kind of fun details like the carbon on the engine bay, if you can see through there. And above the engine right there, it's actually finished in a matte finish, um, which has always traditionally been gloss. So a few fun little parts on the outside. It looks awesome so this is some sort of like a final send-off for this generation of the r8 you've got these really nice also trick headlights in the front which look awesome now let's check out the interior so this car actually has the more comfort seats i'm going to put a video now of the carbon seats you can get some really cool carbon bucket seats which look awesome they've gone and gotten kind of um, all of the parts that were on the original RA GT. Sorry if you can hear a drone, there's an FPV drone flying around. And added those back in, so for example like the logo right here which is exactly the same. Um, the carbon fiber, carbon all around the interior of the car. This one's got the red stitching and the red around the air outlets, which you can see. Now you do get, even if you don't have the bucket seats, a special R8 GT embroidery right there. Oops, sorry, it's a bit dirty, my bad. <laughs> um, you also get obviously the red stitching, red seat belts, and red 12 hour marker right there with the red stitching. Now the rest of the interior is, as you know it, in an R8. There hasn't been much change on the rest of the interior, uh, carbon fiber all over the place, um, but it's not, you know, really kind of hardcore, uh, completely stripped out version of the R8. Um, the seats are the main big difference that you can get, but if you're going to be driving it a lot, these do make sense. You have a really nice quilted headliner, Alcantara headliner with um, the red stitching as well. And what you do get still is, a noisy V10. So let me close this. Um, 620 horsepower, which for the first time is available on the rear wheel drive version. So you could get 620 horsepower on your R8, but it was only Quattro. Now you can have that with the rear wheel drive. There are also a few new things like through the performance button here, you can now play around, which, which is with a system called the torque rear. We'll talk about that a bit more in a second because we're going to actually test, test that out and uh, go drifting in this. But first things first, I'm going to hop into another car, 
and we are going to go around a racetrack and see how this feels. 620 naturally aspirated V10 horses through the rear wheels of one of the final hurrahs of this generation of R8. Let's do it. I called in reinforcements <laughs> with a very fancy helmet on as well. Here we go. Lead breaking, lead breaking. So impressive because they don't feel like they're fading at all. <laughs> We're leaving now. Sir. So good. We're so leaving good. now. It's got such good balance. It's it's predictable. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I love you, sir. Oh yes. <laughs> the front end's pretty communicative. The brakes are taking a proper beating. <laughs> Man, this thing is so much fun. It feels stable. Yeah, to be honest, it does. There's hardly any body roll. It communicates a lot of what's going on with you. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. One more. Man, awesome, awesome stuff. Honestly, this feels like a last hurrah for this generation of R8. Yeah. They've added everything they've learned in the other generations. We're just gonna go through this chicane, okay. We're good to go. It's cool that you can choose how much angle of slip you want. Well, basically. Maximum. <laughs> maximum, please. Brakes are good. Brakes are really good. on normal and be like, drift? What? what? Me? Uh, no. The radio is going. <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One other thing of note in the R8 GT, which is new, is this button right here. So this, you can press it and it puts you into performance mode. And through performance mode, you can use the new torque rear system, um, which will allow you to basically calculate your angle of drift. It's not quite, it won't let you calculate the angle really, but the amount of rear wheel slip you can have, as this is of course a rear wheel drive, as you can see there. So 
for example, here we're on minimum, so that's if it's raining, if it's snowing or something like that, you can put it on minimum, have a little baby slip, or you can go all the way into max. Now, conveniently, we have a drift track right here. So I'm going to be joined by an instructor. I cannot guarantee any results, guys, and I'm gonna have an instructor next to me. So you're gonna, yeah, I only have like a couple minutes doing this. You're really gonna cover the experience with me, but let's try and see how this new torque rear system works. Second gear, right? Second gear, I put. Recommend, yeah. We need to put it maybe a little more off yeah. because it was like I was flat and yeah. it wasn't drifting. Drifting, so. yeah. So try six yeah. or like this. Yeah, for Just example. Try. try again, one more. Yeah, but you have seen you are an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Second gear, yeah. Right? Well, we've had a very fun day out with this new R8 GT. When I saw the first annou announcements of this car, it brought back so many good memories of the original R8 GT. And I think it's a valid older brother or kind of follow up from that car, um, which is, yeah, just uh, a legend in my eyes. So rear wheel drive, just so cool. All of the carbon, anyways, we could go over it for ages. Oh, these are the carbon parts that weren't on the last one. And obviously this is the color and the bucket seats that we spoke about. Anyways, guys, Hope you enjoyed this video. Always good fun bringing you along for these kinds of adventures and uh, I've just had an awesome day out. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you to Audi and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye-bye.